Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome to the finale, maybe, of the Minish Cat, where we must stop Varty from claiming the Light Force hidden within Zelda. But first, I've got an entire dark version of Hyrule Castle to traverse. Luckily, I am as fully prepared as I can be. Because honestly, who plays a Zelda game without doing everything before the final boss? Only a casual would go into the final fight not 100% prepared for it. And I am no casual when it comes to Zelda. I say as I needed a guide in order to um, actually find everything I needed to in this game. What? Perhaps your sword could reflect the blasts coming from those statues. Thank you for interrupting me with that, Ezlo. But I was kind of already in the process of doing that, so, uh, thanks, buddy. Really, really appreciate you and your guidance. Okay. I was expecting maybe a couple of those to be alive, not every single one of them. Hmm. Blue... Uh, button. Blue tiles on floor. Blue door. Oh, I see. It's a hit every square puzzle. And seemingly not a super difficult one. Yeah. Well, that went well. My lack of hearts does not help me uh, kill moblins from a distance. I can't just uh, beam them all. Luckily, I'm still decent at fighting, even without my cheesy methods. Okay, I need to four sword hit all the buttons down there. And I have to be very careful about this blade trap, which is going to undoubtedly interfere with uh, my survival. Because it kills one copy of me, and then all of us are dead. Okay, gonna wait for it to pass again, gonna run straight across left and try and somewhat follow it up. Okay, further left to get round that, go. Oh, come on! Th this wall is the worst. How am I meant to get around that without... Actually... Maybe it was just my strategy of waiting for the blade that was the problem. Yeah, should have just gone straight for it. And that's a small key. Now I can backtrack to the one locked door we've seen. Well, the only one that wasn't a trap because there's a lot of trap doors that are linked to chains and just drawbridge down on you. I did the gesture way before I said the words, but you get the idea. Can you not hit me? I like being not hit. Not hit is fun. Not hit means I get to live longer. Oh, there were more whiz robes than I thought here. That's eh, okay. Don't feel... Don't, don't know why I feel the need to hit every enemy. 
I could just, you know, run through relatively safely. Would you look at that? All of the Stalfos were alive. Hmm. You have to reflect the shots again. No matter. Easy peasy. Hello. You're a lot of you. Let me just, um... I knew I did that for a reason. Did that meaning got all the upgrades. Um... Was there no point in this room? Was... There's, there's got to have been a point. I just have no idea what it is. Was jumping down here of... No, it was not of use. Um, wait. Are there still fairies here, or do they... Oh, lovely. I was expecting them not to respawn because I hadn't left and re-entered the dungeon. Hmm... But that room full of enemies, there must be a trick to it that I'm not realizing. Because surely something should have happened when I cleared them all out, but nothing appeared to. Maybe I should check my map. Maybe there's a bombable wall that doesn't appear bombable from the just layout in the game, you know? Like, there isn't a cracked wall, but maybe I can still use a bomb sort of thing. Map. Map says room to the left. Let's try it. No. Oh. It was. It was just wildly off-center. Can I actually thank you? Upstairs we go. Floor two. Throne room. Oh, hello. Hang on. There's an easier way to handle this, I'm sure. Okay. I don't know if down thrusting will actually help me or not. Okay, I'm just gonna actually try and time attacks on it, because, uh, Cool jump over its strats don't appear to be uh, working out super well. Ow. What? How did I walk into the blade instead of past it? Ah, eh, whatever. Also, why did the chair wiggle? when I beat it. That explains that. Oh no! It's a Gibdo! Whatever will I do? Beat it, that's what. Man, I sure do love not using my lantern in areas where it looks like it'd be useful. I'm going to go back for that chest. It's probably just the compass or something. But still. And here I thought I was being clever. Eh, not that I'll really need the compass. I mean... 
Yeah, it shows where chests are, but... None of the chests are gonna contain anything super important, or no missable chests will contain anything important. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, yes, kinstone pieces. I definitely still have a use for those. Not like I already did all my collecting on my own terms. And... Where am I flying to? Okay. Well, I definitely can't, um... Redirect cannonballs in midair. That just doesn't seem like a thing I'll be capable of doing. But I can land safely here. Hello, Moblin. Go off the edge, please. Please, it'll be funny. I couldn't knock him off the edge. Well, that's kind of disappointing, but oh well. These things happen. Oh, I need to run all th four of me through this room without uh, hitting that fire bar. Gotcha. And, oh, well, I goofed it. That would have worked had I actually lined my physical self up with the top of the block instead of, uh, you know. What? That is weird <laughs> that it actually lights physical link on fire if one of the, uh, duplicate ones touches it. Anyway, we go all the way down, then slightly back up, and actually push. Good. Great. I'm glad. Can I get the f Yes. Yes, I can get the fourth one. Oh boy. More flying puzzle. I'm sure this'll be so much less treacherous than the last one. Or mayhaps it'll be equally treacherous. Excuse you. What? Can I not get off one of these platforms once I've... Okay, I can go on to that one. Perspective is weird. It really didn't seem like that was correct, but apparently that's how those lined up. And yep. And yep. Great. Well, What's done is done, and what's done is that whole flying segment. I'm sure there'll be no more of those. Definitely not. Tell me I can actually rockscape that. Why can't I? Hang on. Beam. No beam? You know... I'm really not sure if I should have skipped the door that I skipped or not. Because on one hand, maybe that was the way to progress and everything over here is secrets. On the other hand, Maybe this is the way to progress, and everything up that door was secret. Mmm... Map, what do you have to say about this? You are not particularly helpful when I'm on the outside of the building, from what I could tell there. Because this will put me... 
down here. And now, notably, I can't do anything from here. Thus, the answer was to go in this door over here. Hmm. Four sword tiles. I need two corners and two, like, top middles. But separate, because that seems about right. And... Oh, hello, ball and chain soldiers. You guys were an absolute nightmare. Because of the having to jump over to... I cannot jump when I'm in the doorway! For... I love being actually camped. I also can't jump when I'm being rapid hit. These enemies are the worst, even when you actually know how to beat them. Can you actually do your attack, please? There we go. Warp to the start. That'll be useful because I can loop around and grab the fairies again. Assuming they continue to respawn. I've also got to remember that fairies only heal four hearts in this game. I better be careful when it comes to things like the Vardy fight later. And back here. Right or left first? I don't know. I'm going to go right. Right is always right, except when it isn't. Um, right is not right at all. Lesson learned. Left we go. And up left. Mmm, bob-ombs, platform. Things. Jump. And switches. Excellent. Am I capable of dropping a bomb off of this ledge? I'm not. I can't even throw it off of that ledge. That's kinda stupid. Means I have to do some weird timing nonsense in order to, uh break the blocks here. And... yeah. And... yeah. And... yeah. How long do I have? Grows big. Even when it starts going big flashes, it's too early. But if I leave it one second longer, I also explode. Fantastic. And I tried planting a bomb on the platform, but it just doesn't work. Don't know why. That's actually kind of ridiculous. Why wouldn't the bomb work on the platform? And... Boomerang just defeats the bob -ombs instantly for whatever reason. One, two, three, yeah. One, two, yep. Yeah. This is actually stupid. Got it eventually, by... Sheer luck, honestly. It didn't seem like there was a very good way to actually time that. But you know, I'm probably wrong. 
there's probably a very consistent timing if you're very good at the game. Whereas me, only being moderately good at the game? Nah, not good enough. Uh, so up goes to the boss key. Right loops around to a room I've apparently already been in. Left loops around to... Who knows what? Oh. Well, I guess I can't go that way. Love all the one-way doors in this building. Really... Really, uh... Really good design. Really helps me know exactly where I'm going, and doesn't make me concerned at all that I might be missing secrets. Actually... Huh. The rapid spin actually surprisingly works on them. Because whenever they shield or blow from the front, they're temporarily stunned. Summoned a lot of dark nuts in other rooms, but... Now that I have this strategy, they should be much easier to deal with. Oh. I see. I need four keys to push a block to get to what is presumably the boss key there. Because the locked blocks stop me from moving the big block. Well, that's just peachy. Hello, my red darknut friend. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Rapid Spin Attacks? Apparently, it's very useful for taking on all kinds of foes. I thought it was only useful against small foes, but apparently, it lets me get into the side of bigger foes like you. If I actually have enough room to do it, that is. There we go. So I'm presuming there's like one key past each of these dark nut rooms. And that's the whole gimmick. Haha, <laughs> nice try, wall masters. You thought I'd be so distracted with the stealth force that I wouldn't think about the shadows that, you know, the shadows cast by monsters that hang from the ceiling. Any host. Past the fire bar. Oh, I see. Just gotta hit every switch. Yep. Yep. And be careful about the fire bar. Yep. Yep. I expected to have to hit them in much more rapid succession, hence the fire bar being more of an issue. But no, that that was a pretty pretty chill time. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, yes, I see. I feel like I've made a mistake of some kind. Like, maybe I meant to block that doorway and give myself a way forward to that staircase? Apparently not. If I'm not meant to make a way up, what does dropping down that hole get me to? A room I haven't been in, so maybe it's a good thing? Well, hello, Gibdos. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Rapid Spin Attacks? And now I'm on this side of the room. And that opens that way, but there's also a staircase up. Which way do I want to go first? 
Eh, I suppose it doesn't matter. Well, it definitely doesn't matter if there's nowhere to go from this tower. Oop. Nearly fell back down there, and wouldn't that have just been dreadful? I'd have surely met with a terrible fate. Next dark nut room? Two at once! Truly a terrifying prospect if I am not a total professional when it comes to them. Two dark nuts at once. A terrifying concept in most of the Zelda games it's done in. But, alas, I am the most skilled swordsman. I'm a moderately skilled swordsman. It, 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 I did it. Only lost a quarter of a heart. These are most to, uh, meant to be some of the most intimidating enemies in the game. Fire, 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 fire. How am I meant to be faster? Okay, never mind. Oh no, not... not Dini! I hope they don't... But I didn't beat all four of... Was only one of them necessary to beat? But they're not hard enemies. Ah well, guess that's the second of my four keys. You know what? I'll get the last two, end this episode, head through the boss door in the next one. Turns out this is not the finale. Because this dungeon... It's the final dungeon, alright. Takes some actual time to do. Then again, there are several uh, dungeons in Zelda series that I've done so far that have taken multiple half-hour episodes. Usually like 45 minutes tops. Like an episode and a half to beat a dungeon. The longer ones might border on three episodes, but this one is not one. What if I... tried to cheese this? I got it! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful! Oh, I'm so glad that worked! Would have been far less funny if it didn't. Press button, go upstairs. And look at this, our third key. Though I wonder what the point is of the room below here. I know out that way is a uh, place we've already been. But what's the point of down this hole? The point appears to be a th three Gibdos, but whether that's actually got a purpose to it or not, it doesn't. The top left one had a purpose. It was to get around the uh, wall blocking the way. That one just didn't have a purpose. Okay. And hello, my remaining two darkness. You won't be remaining for too much longer. Haha, <laughs> you, you get it? It's, it's like a pun. I used... I used two spelled with a W, and then used two spelled with a second O. It's not funny. But... You know what is funny? This game thinking I can't solve a simple hit all the tiles in one smooth motion puzzle. Because of course I can do that. That's... relatively easy. See? I'm sure that probably stumped a lot of ten-year-olds. 
Yeah, why do you only have to kill one of the Gini? They're not hard enemies. That's very silly. Well, well, uh, I was just trying to line myself up better with that mob one, but okay. Now, up the tower will give us the fourth key. Though I am very curious about what's down this fourth tower. It's probably just more Gibdos. It's not. It's a supply room. Okay. Well, with that supply room explored, we're going to go fight Vardy in the next episode. Bye.